Hi, Cancer. Let's talk about love. We are going to do the same reading that we've been doing the last few uh, times that we've done a love reading. And I'm going to pull an energy card, an overall energy card for singles, those who are dating, and those who are in committed relationships. And then we're going to pull an overall theme card from the Enchanted Map to see where you guys as a group are uh, as it relates to romantic love. Then I'll pull two clarifiers for each group. And then I'll do an overall PS at the end. So, God, guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, I thank you so much for my friends born under the sign of cancer. Show us clearly as it, go, as it relates to romantic love, what energies will they be navigating as they walk through the coming weeks in the month of March and early April? As it relates to those who are single, born under the sign of cancer, those who are dating, born under the sign of cancer, and those who are in committed relationships, born under the sign of cancer. We thank you for clear and concise messages. I thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And I thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Okay, guys. This is John Holland's Psychic Tarot Oracle Deck. Those who are single, we have light. That is the same card as the sun. Those who are dating, we have triumphant success. In the tarot, this would be the same chord as the Ace of Swords. And in committed relationships, we have heartache and loss. And this would be the same chord as the Three of Swords. Now, I don't want you to get discouraged with this. Um, we are today, the 9th of March, is um, the uh, uh, Mercury's going direct. But the energies from Mercury retrograde can last for a period after the retrograde. So uh, if any of these energies are feeling like familiar, like, man, I thought I had overcome that already or whatever, it could just be uh, a little residual something that's going on. So we'll see. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. Again, I thank you for my friends born under the sign of cancer. Show us clearly what is the overall theme for all of our friends born under the sign of cancer as it relates to romantic love. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Okay, guys, overall theme, intention. I love this card. Okay, so you see this bird is sitting on this very beautiful egg. Um, and they've got one of those little, I can't remember what you call them, but you blow them. You make a wish and you blow them and all those little things fly away, right? And the field is full of them. So we all have wishes and things that we um, we would love to happen in our lives. But when does a wish become an intention, right? And 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 this this egg, this intention that they have, it looks like it's it's bigger than what they could imagine for themselves. Does that make sense? Hang on, I'm looking for a better a better way to explain that. Um, maybe the intention feels like. Uh, not that it's bigger than they can imagine for themselves, but it's it's like the, it's it's bigger than I don't know how else to explain it. Let me see. Like there's this little part of you that's saying, "Man, that'll never happen," right? So 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 it stays in the wish category instead of becoming an intention. Okay, but we're gonna read it and see what the book has to say about it. And um, the number is 22. Uh, tw the two for me is creative. It's uh, the divine feminine. It's strong at the at the base, a foundational strength. And then it's got this little creativity that, that goes up in this little hump that makes it resilient because it can bend and bounce and flex and all that stuff, but it comes right back up. So 22. Um... Intention. Deliberate, clear intentions have the power to change your world. I love this. Uh, your objectives will be fulfilled at this time. In your objectives. Remember we talked about this being wishes and sometimes we have a lot of wishes out there, but what's our intention? What's the objective? Your objectives will be filled at this time. Uh, inspired intentions are like magic arrows being shot into the sky. 
the universe is bringing you a gift, showing you that you're hitting your mark. Recognize that you're not the one who has to do all the work. However, others help you co-create reality. You connect to the power of your intention, sending it out into the field, then allow for synchronicity to work its magic. Perhaps the good intentions of others will inspire you to send out beautiful ones of your own. Own the life you want to lead and live deliberately with clarity and detachment. Okay, we've talked about that in some of our other videos that we do uh, for Daily Mail. So I'm going to leave my glasses on while I pull the clarifiers because I'm using a new deck. It's called The Dreamer's Journal by Barbara Moore. Um, I love the artwork in this deck. Barbara did the, um, the interpretations in the book. I, I don't recall the artist. I apologize for that. God, guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, thank you so much for allowing us to use tarot as a tool. And thank you that even as it relates to romantic love, uh, if we care about it, you care about it too. Show us clearly what what are what is the meat of these messages for the singles we have light for those who are dating we have triumphant success and for those who are in committed relationships we're looking at heartache and loss show us clearly what are the clarifying messages that go with these energies we thank you for clear and concise messages we thank you for love light and prosperity and we thank you for clarification confirmation and validation Okay, guys, let's see what we got here. For those who are single, we have the light and we have the devil. Wow. Clarifying it. And we have six of cups clarifying it. Okay. I actually love this energy. Um, for those who are dating, right? Triumphant success, which is the same as the ace of swords. We have the higher font. And we have strength, powerful, powerful uh, cards there. And for those who are in committed relationships, we have the Four of Swords. And we have the Ten of Wands. I love it. Okay. So apparently, um, those of you born under the sign of cancer who are in committed relationships, you're hanging on to something that I think it's time for you to let go of. Okay, but we're going to get to that in a minute. So for those of you who are single, born under the sign of cancer, you're starting out with the light. That's the sun. It's like you're walking in a good place. You have, you have conquered uh, these earthly attachments that we uh, can get addicted to, these self-sabotaging thoughts, these feelings of inferiority, these feelings of self-doubt, self-worth, all that stuff. The, 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 uh, the energy of the devil uh, is, a, is about sometimes addictions, but we don't realize how sometimes we can become addicted to our thoughts and to our self-sabotaging behavior. And I think that's what this is about. It's like you have done a lot of work. I want you to look at this card real good. This woman, and this is not gender specific, it's just a woman on the card. She has conquered that devil. She's sitting on top of that dead gum thing, right? So she has done a lot, a lot of work, and she is now walking in a different place where she has victory in her life, where she feels like it's okay to dream again, it's okay to uh, hope again, it's okay to wish again, and it's okay to have intentions again. She's understood uh, the, the, uh, mm, the value of the work that she's done has helped her uh, has helped her understand the value of who she is. The work she has done has helped her to understand the value of who she is. Again, not gender specific. And then we have the six of um, cups, which which talks about nostalgia and past relationships and things like that. So the clear story right here, or, or what could be a very clear story on the surface, is that there may be a Capricorn coming into your life that you dated at one time. That is a possibility. The other stuff is still important too, though, about the work that you've done and the energy that you're in right now and overcoming these self-sabotaging thoughts and those fears and doubts and, and be coming back to a place where 
you have that pure expectancy again, that, that you believe in love again, that you believe that there is a possibility that you're here to experience that in your life. So, and it's a good place to be because when we're in that energy where we've overcome so much of these earthly ideas and attachments and, and self doubt and fear and all that stuff and uh, inferiority and all that stuff. And we're walking in this energy and we have this, this younger feeling, right? That we had when we were younger, when we had these big ideas and dreams about love, we walk in a different energy, a different vibration. So we're going to attract something more familiar to that energy into our space. So this is a really awesome place to be. If you are dating okay we're, we're starting out with the um triumphant success and i feel like uh, i'm i'm sorry that the, and this might not be for all of you guys but i feel like this is the majority or a good portion of you guys that you have found your truth within dating and, and whenever i mean that i mean you have found your person i feel like or possibly uh, you feel like that's your person, but you've pierced the veil of 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 the uh, of the recognition, the soul recognition of what it is that you're there for. And I feel like you're actually ready to settle down with somebody. This is the higher font, right? It's about tradition, so it could be the marriage card. This is a love reading. You could feel like you're ready to take this next step into a committed relationship, and then you have the strength cord right here uh which reminds you right to to walk in your strength your strength of being able to uh to co-create with the universe you set out your intention right don't make a wish set out your intention and then allow spirit to conspire with you to make that happen um now again this and I feel like this is I really feel like this is a mutual, a very mutual feeling for both of you. Um, but this isn't for you if you uh, are dating different people and you like somebody. This message is not for you to um, to try to convince somebody that they that you're their person. This is going to be a mutual thing. They're already going to know. You you feel it, they know it. It's like a mirror, right? So, and and again, you you have this feeling inside of you that you're ready to commit to this person and you have the inner wisdom and the inner strength about how to move forward, uh when to move forward and all that other stuff. So, I feel like you found somebody. Okay. And then right here, guys, the 3 of uh, swords it's the same as the three of swords this card is called heartache and loss and again we have somebody right here with their you know right right here across her her solar plexus there's there's a heart right right beneath her heart chakra there's that heart it's like her heart is down here she's been feeling it she's been carrying it the heartache and the loss whatever happens somebody has betrayed you or or you feel like they've betrayed you or you've carried betrayal in from a last relationship and, and it's starting to affect this relationship in some way or another. And Spirit's saying, it's time to let all that go. Look, we have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is, is kind of like a, a um, minor arcana of the Hermit card. It's like where you go within and you release this, this sword. And I'm going to have to put my glasses on to show you this. I know it's there. But if you notice these swords on these walls, they're, they're all facing one way except this one. It's like this is the sword that they have conquered. This thought, this uh, self-sabotaging betrayal issue, all that stuff that you either carried with you in to this relationship or that you, um, for whatever reason, are hanging on to something that happened earlier in this relationship. But it's but Spirit's saying definitely it's time to put that to rest. Not only is it time to put it to rest, put it down, period. You're carrying it too long. I don't feel like this is, um, I don't feel like this is a card that's saying, 
uh, leave them, right? Because Spirit's asking you to put this down. So I feel like it's, I feel like there's something going on with you, Cancer, where you're just hanging on to something that it's time to let it go. And, and if you can't let it go by yourself, perhaps seek counseling, go sit with a marriage counselor, or a, psych, a psychologist, a licensed professional counselor, find somebody who can assist you in, in letting it go, a spiritual advisor, somebody like that, who can give you the practices that you need to let it go. But I feel like Spirit saying, what is your intention here, right? Because to go forward in this relationship, hanging on to this, uh, it's not going to bring the relationship that you want. It's not, you're not going to be able to experience the fullness of this relationship. So if your intention is to walk forward in a very beautiful, fulfilling relationship, then this card is saying, this energy right here is saying, we got to let it go. We got to figure out a way to mourn it, grieve it, and let it go. Okay, so... We are going to do the P.S. Guys, thank y'all so much for the likes, the shares, the comments, uh, ringing my bell, all that stuff. Y'all rock my world, and I just thank you so much. And if you're a passerby and, and you you know just drop in every now and then to see what's going on at the Spirit Mail community, thank you for all the time that you do spend here. We appreciate you uh, stopping in. Okay. God, guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, show us the P.S., please. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. What is the P.S. as it relates to romantic love for our friends born under the sign of cancer? We thank you for clear and concise messages, love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Okay, P.S. Guys, look, this is like legacy uh, abundance, right? It's like generational legacy type abundance because this is um, a love reading. I feel like what it's saying is in all three cases, even here, right? This is the energy that, that is surrounding you. And, in, and if you're in a committed relationship, this is the energy that's preventing you from feeling this and, 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 and enjoying the benefits of it. And that's why they're saying, let's put it down. And, and if you're single, you know, you're headed toward that legacy type love. If you're dating, uh, I think you might have found that person. You've found that legacy type love. I love this. And it's a new journey. Look. In every situation I can see where something new is starting, even right here, even right here, if you've brought something in from an old relationship um, or, if, or if something happened early in your relationship that you're currently in, but you've been hanging on to it, I feel like letting go of it is going to be you showing up within that relationship in a whole new way. It's a new journey. It could be an internal journey, right? I love this, guys. Man, look at this. And the Ten of Cups. Guys, when it comes to love, I feel like Spirit's saying, you're right where you need to be. And and the and we are we are conspiring with you. We are co-creating with you. Set your intentions. Let Spirit know what you desire. Look, and then be willing to do the work. Be willing to ask Spirit, show me inside myself. What do I need to release? What do I need to work on? How do I need to move forward? All that stuff. They'll show you because whatever your intentions are, what started out as a wish, now you want it to be an intention so you can bring it into your reality. They want that for you too. Okay, guys, listen. I love y'all so very much. Thank you so much for stopping in. And until next time, go have a super duper day. Bye.